right, here's a quick video on how to forward your phone. So we have Anson Garcia's Jabber client right here. Anson Garcia's phone is on the left over here. It's this one right here. So what we can do is let's just extend a, a phone call from this phone to that phone. I just got a speed dial here. We can see that phone is um, ringing over there and we'll just end that call. And then what we'll do is just, uh, we'll choose this little icon right here, down at the bottom, that little computer icon with a phone on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to forward to my mobile number. All right. Now we got that done. I'm going to extend that same call. And um, got the iPhone kind of off camera over here. You can hear the iPhone now. And you can see this phone is not ringing anymore. So that's it. Easy as that. And um, you can't see it. I'll take a picture of it and post it. Um, but there's uh, a forwarding little symbol there on that line. Okay, now to disable call forwarding, all we need to do is click right down in here. Now we can go back over here and um, uh, do not forward calls. But it kind of draws our attention with this visual little icon right here. If we walk up to our desk, I can clearly see... That doesn't look normal, and my calls are forwarded. It gives me that little symbol there, and I can just click there. That's going to turn off call forwarding, and that's it. That's all I have to do. So let's, let me show you one more thing. We can also call forward to any number, okay, providing our routing and um, what we call class of service is set up right. So not, not everyone's able to, or based on how you set your system up, with your uh, account team, you could have some call restrictions on long distance numbers and things like that, uh, or international numbers uh, in this particular field. But basically, you would put in what you would usually dial. Like if you dial 9, 1, and then a number, or you wouldn't have to dial 9, you just dial 10 digit or 11 digit number. Uh, that would be the same thing here. So if I had to dial 9, I'd put in 832, 492, or 4. 92 and then 5555 five, 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 whatever and then um, I could do that as well I just say forward there and then that would um, uh, enable okay there we go okay and then I'm just going to click that to disable it now one more thing I want to show you is the where that mobile number came from so that mobile number I'm looking at my active directory users right here and this is just a front end app a management app for LDAP uh, that I'm showing you here and I want to show you the account of Anson Garcia here you can see that's the number that we dialed that we um, rang Anson's phone and Jabber client but I want to show you his contact info so the LDAP attribute um, mobile and there's the um, user's mobile number that's where that came from so it's important to populate your LDAP directory attributes and those will be sucked right into Verizon UCAS and then you'll be able to you know do things like this right here okay that's it um, that's all I wanted to show you on this video